Trump's Extraordinary Oval Office Squabble with Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, annotated. The American government will be divided for two years starting next month. Judging by Tuesday's squabble in the Oval Office, it won't be pretty. President Trump invited House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi, D. California, and Senate Minority Leader Charles E. Schumer, DN.Y, for a photo OP before the White House press pool, and then proceeded to engage in an at times highly personal debate about how he needs border wall funding or he'll shut down the government. It was a lot of posturing and showmanship that may not ultimately be important Trump has repeatedly threatened government shutdowns but it was notable for a few reasons. Trump said, unequivocally, that he would take the blame for a shutdown, which isn't how this is usually done. Schumer attacked Trump for his false claims about the wall already being built and for the GOP's 2018 midterm election losses and then Trump attacked Pelosi for her struggles to lock down the speakership both of which foreshadow a contentious two years of divided government ahead. Neither Pelosi nor Vice President Pence seemed to want anything to do with the spectacle, with Pelosi repeatedly urging those assembled not to debate in front of the cameras and Pence literally sitting silently the entire time. Here is the transcript, with annotations in yellow. Trump, OK, thank you very much. It's a great honor to have Nancy Pelosi with us, and Chuck Schumer with us. And we've actually worked very hard on a couple of things that are happening. Criminal justice reform, as you know, we just heard word got word that Mitch McConnell and the group, we're going to be putting it up for a vote. We have great Democrat support, great Republican support. So criminal justice reform is something that people have been trying to get, how long, Nancy? Many years. Many, many years. It looks like it's going to be passing, hopefully famous last words on a very bipartisan way. And it's really something we're all very proud of it. And, again, tremendous support from Republicans and tremendous support from Democrats. And I think it's going to get a very good vote. And we'll see soon enough. But it will be up for a vote very shortly. A lot of years they've been waiting for it. The other thing, the farm bill is moving along nicely, and I guess they'll be voting on Friday or so, but pretty close. And we think the farm bill is in very good shape. A lot of good things are happening with it, and our farmers are well taken care of. And again, that'll be quite bipartisan, and it'll happen pretty soon. And then we have the easy one, the wall. That will be the one that will be the easiest of all. What do you think, Chuck? Maybe not. Schumer, it's called funding the government, Mr. President. Laughter. Trump, so we're going to see. But I will tell you the wall will get built. We'll see what happens. It is not an easy situation because the Democrats have a different view, I think that I can say, the Republicans. We have great Republican support. We don't have Democrat support. But we're going to talk about that now. We're going to see. One thing that I do have to say is tremendous amounts of wall have already been built, and a lot of wall when you include the renovation of existing fences and walls renovated a tremendous amount, and we've done a lot of work. In San Diego we're building new walls right now. And we've right next to San Diego, we've completed a major section of wall, and it's really worked well. So a lot of wall has been built. We don't talk about that, but we might as well start because it's being built right now. Big sections of wall. And we will continue that. And one way or the other it's going to get built. I'd like not to see a government closing, a shutdown. We will see what happens over the next short period of time. But the wall is a very important thing to us. I might put it a different way. Border security is extremely important, and we have to take care of border security when you look at what happened with the caravans and the people and a lot of people. We shut it down. We had no choice. We shut it down. But it could be a lot easier if we had real border security. I just want to pay my respects to the border patrol agents and officers. They've been incredible. The ICE agents and officers, they've been incredible, and very importantly, our military, our military went in and they did an incredible job. They have been really, 
really spectacular. A lot of the people that wanted to come into the country and really they wanted to come in, no matter how they wanted to come in, they were going to come in, even a rough way. Many of these people are leaving now, and they're going back to their countries Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and other countries. They're leaving. If you noticed, it's getting a lot less crowded in Mexico. And a lot of them are going to stay in Mexico, and the Mexican government has been working with us very well. So we appreciate that. But they haven't been coming into our country. We can't let people come in that way. So that's pretty much it. Trump, we're going to talk about the wall. I wanted to talk about criminal justice reform just to let you know how positive that is. I want to talk about the farm bill how positive that is, and I want to talk about the wall. And I will tell you, it's a tough issue, because we are on very opposite sides of I really think I can say border security, but certainly the wall. But the wall will get built. A lot of the wall is built. It's been very effective. I asked for a couple of notes on that. If you look at San Diego, illegal traffic dropped 92% once the wall was up. El Paso, illegal traffic dropped 72%, then ultimately 95% once the wall was up. In Tucson, Arizona, illegal traffic dropped 92%. Yuma, it dropped illegal traffic 95-96%. to I mean, and when I say dropped, the only reason we even have any percentage where people got through is because they walk and go around areas that aren't built. It dropped virtually 100% in the areas where the wall is. So I mean, it's very effective. If you really want to find out how effective a wall is, just ask Israel, 99.9% .9 effective that our wall will be every bit as good as that, if not better. So we've done a lot of work on the wall, a lot of wall is built. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of wall is renovated. We have walls were in very bad condition and they are now in a one tip top shape. And frankly, some wall has been reinforced by our military. The military has done a fantastic job. So the wall will get built, but we may not we may not have an agreement today. We probably won't. But we have an agreement on other things that are really good. Nancy would you like to say something? Pelosi, well, thank you, Mr. President for the opportunity to meet with you, so that we can work together in a bipartisan way to meet the needs of the American people. I think the American people recognize that we must keep government open, that a shutdown is not worth anything, and that you should not have a Trump shutdown. You have a crosstalk. Trump, did you say Trump? Crosstalk. Pelosi, you have the White House. You have the Senate. You have the House of Representatives. You have the votes. You should pass it. Trump, no, we don't have the votes, Nancy, because in the Senate we need 60 votes, and we don't have it, ph. Pelosi, no, no, but in the House, you could bring it up right now. Trump, yes, but I can't excuse me but I can't get it passed in the House if it's not going to pass in the Senate, I don't want to waste time. Pelosi, well, the fact is, you can get it started that way. Trump, the House we could get passed very easily, and we do. Pelosi, okay, then do it. Then do it. Trump, but the problem is the Senate, because we need 10 Democrats to vote, and they won't vote. Pelosi, that's not the point, Mr. President. The point is that there are equities to be weighed. And we are here to have a conversation in a, inaudible, way. Trump, right. Pelosi, so I don't think we should have a debate in front of the press on this, but the fact is, the House Republicans could bring up this bill if they had the votes immediately and set the tone for what you want. Trump, if we thought we were going to get it passed in the Senate, Nancy, we would do it immediately. We would get it passed very easily in the House. We would get it. Pelosi, that's not the point. Trump, Nancy, I'd have it passed in two seconds. It doesn't matter though, 
because can't get it passed in the Senate because we need 10 Democrat votes. That's the problem. Pelosi, well, again, let us have our conversation then we can meet with the press again. But the fact is that legislating, which is what we do, you begin, you make your point, you state your case. That's what the House Republicans could do if they had the votes. But there are no votes in the House, a majority of votes, for a wall, no matter where you cross talk. Schumer, that's exactly right. You don't have the cross talk. Trump, if I needed the votes for the wall in the House, I would have them in one session, it would be done. Pelosi, well, then go do it. Go do it. Trump, it doesn't help, because we need 10 Democrats in the Senate. Pelosi, no, don't put it on the Senate, put it on put it on the negotiation. Trump, okay, let me ask you this, just and we're doing this in a very friendly manner. It doesn't help for me to take a vote in the House where I will win easily with the Republicans. Pelosi, you will not win. Trump, it doesn't help to take the vote, 